Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Igneous dikes. An igneous dike, or dike, is an intrusion of magma that is generally near vertical and cuts through pre-existing bedding planes or foliations within rocks. Take this landscape, upon which are volcanoes, which when studied, seen in cross-section, we can see that the land formed by layers of rock building up, then the volcanoes forming on top of this. But that is not the complete story. Under the ground, magma, in the form of a batholith, moves upwards into the crust. But it did not move smoothly like that. Instead, as the magma moved upwards, putting pressure on the rock above it, the rock fractured, creating roots for the magma to seep upward into the crust. Repeated fracturing, enabling further injection. If we study one of these fractures in more detail, we see the upward moving magma, this starting to be injected into the fracture. As the magma forces its way further upwards, it opens up the fracture, so allowing more magma to flow upwards, and so also further widen the fracture too. This continues as the magma forces its way towards the surface, until, when the fracture vents at the surface, a volcano is formed. Further magmatic flow up this fracture creates more lava flows, this resultant dike now acting as the plumbing system for the volcanoes. Let's study the dike in more detail. Here we have the original layers of rock in the crust. Here we now have our dike intruded upwards. It cut across the layers. Due to the magma being hot, this heat flows into the host country rock, resulting in the country rock that is in contact with the dike being metamorphosed by the intense heat and pressure of the magma within the dike. The dike itself has a hotter core, hotter so enabling the magma here to cool more slowly over time. This long time enabling the magma to crystallise at larger crystals in the centre of the dike. Here, at the edges of the dike, we have a chilled margin, where the cooler country rock touches the hot magma, so forcing the magma to crystallise faster. The magma crystallising faster, so forming smaller crystals in the chilled margins. As we can see here in this dike in Israel, the near horizontal strata, having been fractured when deeper in the crust, and the magma then intruded up into this, forming the dike. When we study the dike, we see the central section bordered by the chilled margins. At the sides of the dike, we see the ends of columnar jointing, these bordering the side of the dike where it touches the cooler country rock, these columns having grown inwards into the dike as the magma cools. These diabase, or dolerite dikes, in northeast America were intruded into this paler coloured granite, the two near parallel dikes, clearly displaying their sheet-like forms and their own chilled margins. If we look at this left-hand dike, we can see the columnar jointing. It's also very clear in this different view of one of the dikes. That's amazing! Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!